Welcome to this video which takes a look at how to detect a how to crypt ransomware on your network. Now there's quite a bit of information out there about this particular type of ransomware. Many many articles. Um, if you flick through them, one of the things that's common throughout all these is the fact that the ransomware, this virus, creates these files which is a text file and a GIF. So anywhere this ransomware has um, accessed or tried to encrypt some stuff, these files will appear. So very easy to check for this activity using your LangGuardian. First thing you need to download and install LangGuardian. The link shown on the screen at the moment, you can download a free trial from there. Once you're up and running, click up at the top left to the search button here and in the file activity, type in the name of the the files as per the article, so how decrypt and press go. Now you may need to change the time period here, so you might need to select 24 hours or maybe last four hours. So I do have the activity detected here associated with those files. So I want to find out who's associated with this, how many systems, maybe how many users out there are impacted by this. So we click this button here to view the report with usernames. Let's see what we got. So Robert Schmidt here, it looks like it's he's brought it into the network. Let's drill down and find out what system he's using. And here it is here. So you've got the user, their IP address, the server, and the share. So gonna contain this situation. We just get onto Robert, get a system, get it checked out, get the virus off it. And we also can see what files on the network were impacted. So this folder we want to take a close look at. So that's it, very quickly. Just use the search to focus on the file name and find out. If other variants of this come out, um, they may use different file names, just a similar approach. Just find out what temporary files or what files are created, search for them, find out the user declined and contain the situation.